Hey, what's up, guys? Um, welcome back to Lego To Yo. I'm Jay, aka Jay Awesome. That's my Instagram. Um, today we're not gonna do an unboxing. Today we're gonna do something different, something I did in my channel, um, Awesome House TV. Don't forget to subscribe to that. Um, by the way, I'll be jumping back and forth from channel to channel. Awesome House TV is my my channel, obviously, because it's my house, Awesome House, and Lego To Yo. I'm part of Lego To Yo and Lego To Yo is family. And we're planning different things for the Lego TO channel as well. So, anyways, on my channel, I did uh, five favorite pieces of my collection. Um, that was part one. I'm going to do part two. I'm going to pick out another five pieces that I love. And we're going to get into how I got the piece. Um, I might say how much I paid for the piece, depending on the piece. And um, it's just another five in my collection that I love. Don't get me wrong, if it's in my collection, I love, I obviously love it, but um, it's not going to be my top five, because in the first video, go check it out, I gave you some pieces that will be in my top five. These, maybe. So, let's check it out. Alright guys, for so the first piece for this video, I'm going to go with the man George Kondo, and this piece is called Droopy Dog Abstraction. Um... I bought it back in 2017. I got it at the Armory. Um, I'm from New York, so the Armory was in NY. Anyways, um, I saw this image on Instagram. People wasn't really talking about it. I thought it was like a painting that was going to be at the Armory or whatever. So I went to the Armory. I went all over, checked it out. It was all right. Um, as soon as I was leaving the building, I looked over my shoulder, and boom, that's where the print was. It was at a booth. It was from um, Art Culture Projects. Um, they were the one that were releasing the print. Ran to the booth. Asked about it and then, you know, obviously it's here. Um, it's a sick print. I think it's probably be my only condo I ever own. Unless he releases other prints and I score it. But, or if I hit the lotto, you know, different story. But it's an additional 75. Retail was... About 33, 3400, something like that. Um, it was tiered as well, so depending on how much they sold, the prices kept going up. But definitely one of my favorite prints. Um, and once I saw it, I was like, this is for my daughter Mia. This is definitely for her. That's why I want the pink background and everything like that. It goes perfect. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Market for these right now is pretty crazy. Um, I seen one go for ten grand. I seen one go for thirteen grand, twelve grand. So I'm glad I picked it up. But anyways, let's go for uh, piece number two. All right, so for piece number two, I'm gonna have to go with this bad boy right here. Uh, companion print from 2006, the dissected, the brown one, obviously. It's my first cost print. Uh, I scored this guy on eBay. I paid 2300 ship. I bought this. Uh, wow. I don't remember what year I got him from, but um, a few years back. It was a few years back. Uh, it came framed. I kept it framed. I always thought about changing the frame, but I don't know. Uh, regular edition is an edition of 100. This is an AP. The AP is an edition of 15, which is pretty cool. Um, I think the retail for this was about seven to eight hundred bucks. I could be wrong. Um, market value now is from fifteen. I seen it to twenty. You know, these days anything cause related, they want your arm, your kids, and your pension for it. So uh, people ask me if I'm willing to sell it. Sorry, sauce, but no. Definitely not for sale, especially that it's being, being that it's my first cost print, I can't let it go, so it's, I'm a hoarder, that's one, and two, I get sentimental when it comes to my pieces and whatever, but it is what it is. I might change the frame, I don't know, because fingerprints and all, but this is piece number two, I'll show better images later, now let's go to piece number three. Alright guys, so for piece number three, it's 
technically not a piece, but I'm going to say it's a piece because I made it into a piece. I'll just show you what it is. There we go. Uh, it's a Levi's jacket by one of my favorite artists, Andre Sadeva. Um, it's a collab he did with Levi's and Mocha Museum from LA. Um, I think they released it back in 2011, 2012. I bought it a few years later. Um, but I bought two of them because they were on sale. And um, yeah, I had to get it because obviously Andre is my favorite artist. I also got a Kenny Sharp. Um, so what happened was Andre, he was having a little block party. He was closing down his cafe. So I went with my lead family to check it out. And I took the jacket. I took a little bottle of crank. And Andre, you know, blessed it, hooked it up. So it's kind of like a little original. If you want to say it is, I say it is. Um, he hooked it up. It's pretty cool because, uh, yeah, it's probably like the little, only original I have. You know what? I have one little original of him besides the sketches. This little ass painting. I don't know if you can see. Focus, focus, focus. But anyways, that's another little OG I have of Andre's. But anyways, <clears throat> I was stoked, you know, I got this sign. Well, yeah, it's actually signed on the side. You can't really tell because um, it's a denim. And the jacket, they all come with prints. So I took the print for this jacket, and I also got them to sign it as well. I should have brought it for the video, but... Oh wow. Um, but yeah, this is piece number three, one of my favorites in the collection. Um, it was pretty pricey to get it framed, but well worth it. Uh, so yeah, let's go to piece number four. Alright guys, so this is going to be piece number four. Actually these pieces, and the reason why I say pieces is because it's the complete set of cause keychains. Um, who can I love these? You know, I started collecting back in 2011. I started, started seeing the keychains and I was like, yeah, they're pretty cool. So little by little, you know, I started buying them, you know. And me, I'm a completist, so I had to try to complete the whole set. These, um, the market-wise are pretty up there in a way for a little fucking keychains. Some I seen for, for 100, 200. Darth Vader, I seen them for 3 plus. Um, but I wouldn't sell these. Um, People ask me a bunch of times what I sell, what I sell. Sorry, the answer is no. I definitely won't sell these because um, it took me a while to collect them. And like I said before, I'm a hoarder, so I, I can't let these go. I'd rather sell this shit than this. Um, somebody even offered me two or three grand for this. I was like, nah, I can't do it. But um, yeah, this is number four. Hopefully I can zoom in and I'll give you a better shot later. All right. This is number four. Let's go check out number five. All right, guys, this will be piece number five, the last piece in the video. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces. Um, I don't think I'm on, no, this is my second Todd James original. My first was on paper. Um, the one on paper is called Freedom Fighter. This one's called, no, sorry. The Defender is the one on paper. This one's called Freedom Fighter. Uh, I got it from the whole NYC. I uh, got a good deal on it. I'm not gonna say how much. Shout out to my boy George. He's the one that hooked me up. Um, piece is like 48 by 40. Um, from 2013. I was searching, searching for you know a nice little Todd James piece. Well, not little, but a nice size, obviously. Um, <clears throat> and I saw this one, and obviously the whole paint and the boobs, whatever. Um, caught my attention, but then the great background, it's, it's pretty sick. Um, it has all his features that he uses, you know, in his paintings and drawings, stuff like that. She has the gun, got the boobs, got the blondie, got the cigarette, got the furniture, cats. And, you know, what more can you ask for? Um, especially from a Todd James piece. It's fucking sick. Um, pictures don't do justice. Even on video, it's really not gonna do anything. But um, yeah, definitely one of my favorite pieces, especially being number five for today. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to score another original from Todd. Um, 
I want other I want other paper pieces because I, I love when he, I love paper pieces in general, but I definitely need a nice big canvas to add to the collection and hopefully soon, hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, so this is number five, and that's it. All right, guys. So that was some of my favorite pieces in the collection, but that was five pieces in this video. Don't forget to check out my first video in my Awesome House TV channel. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, hopefully, you know, you know, I'll hook you up with you know, little better videos and clips and other pieces like that. Not only from me, but from my league brothers as well. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget, we have a Facebook group, um, League OTO. We have a website, LeagueOTO.com. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at League OTO. Um, say what's up. Let me know what was your favorite piece in the collection. If you don't like it, that's fine. Let me know if you don't like the video, that's fine. Let me know what you don't like about the piece that I show you. You know, whatever. It's a free country. Say what you got to say. Anyways, love you guys. Um, thanks for watching.